in the two hours that passed. Hello, Dungeon fans. I'm the... Well, I'm Kevin from Level 9. I'm not the Lich. But it's the Liching Hour. And uh, tonight's a little special. I don't know how long it's going to last. But I'm unboxing the Ian's End Legacy game. I just got it off Kickstarter. Like, literally re arrived today. Um, I did not get a chance to back Ian's End the first time it came, when it first came out in Kickstarter, but I, um, was lucky enough to pick up a copy later, well, not too much later, and it quickly became one of my favorite games. Uh, I really love Dominion, and, uh, I've played a lot of deck builders since Dominion, uh, like, um, geez, I'm totally brain farting on, uh, the one that's pretty popular, but it's more random. But I haven't found one that I liked as much as Dominion. I love this because, one, it was co-op, which is awesome. But two, it was the same kind of, you have a pool of cards that are randomly determined. And you've got to make the best of it. Um, you got to make the best of it uh, and build your best deck from it. And then there was another cool, the, the real cool little trick to it is that your deck doesn't shuffle. You don't shuffle your deck. You play your cards. They go in your discard, and then you take your discard, and you put it on, you flip it over, and that becomes your deck. And that right there, um, I, I'm not a good enough player to really take advantage of that. Not yet, I don't think. But I like the idea of it, and um, it, it intrigues me uh, heavily. So anyway, Ian's like Ian's Legacy. I have no idea what's in this box. I uh, So I thought I'd open it up uh, for you to see, too. And we'll check out what's going on because I am going to be playing this on camera. I'm going to be starting this sometime probably next week. Oh. All right. What do we got here? Uh, I don't know about you, but the I smell. I, I smell. I love the smell of new games. It's like a new car smell. You know what I mean? Read this first. Thank you for your support. All right. During production, we discovered a few minor... What the... F Errors? No. No. Abort. Abort. Okay. That's fine. Um, oh, this is great. Like, I don't know if you've played Pandemic Legacy 1 or 2, uh, Season 1 or 2, but it's it's difficult enough to keep track of stuff. In the unlikely event that you're instructed to read card E07, that card instructs you to read the front of card L19. You should instead read the front of L17. <laughs> They sincerely apologize. I understand. This is quite an undertaking to get this kind of stuff done. Ian's Legacy. Have you played Ian's Ends before? Yes, I have. Before opening any of the decks of cards, please read the rule book. Yeah, I sure will. What is this, though? First games. Oh, okay. So it outlines the first game setup. Right on. What else have we got here? Ooh, Insight. One... 2A and 2B. And they're like pandemic where they're like a, it's like an advent calendar or something. You gotta pull off. Oh boy. There's a big stack of them. Ooh. <laughs> I like what I'm... Alright, so we've got Insight 4 and 3. 3, 4, 5, 6. Six, eight, nine. Ah, there's seven down there. Ten, thirteen. All right, so there's thirteen. All these pull off kind of reveal things. Nice. And what is this? I like these little envelopes. I like them a lot. I like them much better. I like these. I like this. This is new. I haven't seen anything like this. I like boxes. I've definitely seen things like this. I don't know if I like these kind of things, but I mean, whatever. I'll deal with them. In search of new power. Oh, wait, wait, that's chapter three. Let's see. Chapter one is the ordeal. Cool little envelope here, taped up. This is going to be really fun to open. This is something Pandemic could take a cue from. Pandemic's awesome. Just finished season two um, about a month ago. 
loved it, but um, it got it even more tedious tracking the stuff, and it felt even even more intense than the first season. They could take a cue from something like this. So there's uh, four chapters, five. No, I'm saying four, seven chapters. The darkest night. All right, let's start from the top. The ordeal. Among the ruins. In search of new power. A friend in danger. I love this so much. It's like episodes. It's episodic. The Darkest Night. Strength of Mind. The Last Stand. Rock on. All right, what do we got? Oh, these are nice. These are gates. These are more solid than the ones in the base set. Much more solid. Very nice. If you haven't played Eon's End, you should pick up. Maybe start here or pick up a copy. It's a really good deck builder. Who are our st these? I mean, I'm assuming these are our starting characters that we can choose from. We get to name them. And then uh, we have powers that unlock at the end of chapter three, chapter six, two B, five, and two A. Okay, so they designate a starting deck and a starting hand. Okay, so they got powers that unlock throughout the um, different chapters. Are they different? Let's. Here's a key thing. Are they different between? Oh, what's this stuff here? Oh, come on, man. Not cool. Wait. Are these the same people? All right, so this is like, looks like they level up. They could like, because this is like him, but like cooler. Or, huh. I have to find out if this is two different characters, or if this is the same character, and then you flip them over when you're playing. Yeah, because it, all of them <laughs> with hat, without hat, but they unlock the same at the same end of each chapter. So it leads me to believe, like their abilities unlock chapter three, chip, chapter six, two B is the same as this side. So it seems almost like these are two different choices. So we've got four boards. We've got eight characters to choose from. And okay, are all their starting hands the same? Yeah, all their starting hands the same. Four crystals, one spark. Okay. So the starting characters are basically a choice between art, color, slap a name on them. Nothing really different between them that I can tell. Cool. It's fine. Tokens. Power tokens. Life tokens. I'm not going to pop these right now. What's going on here? Uh, these are things you have in the... Oh. Okay, so in the base game, you have Gravehold, which is the town you're defending. It's like the last town of civilization. You're defending from the monsters. And then the... Um, whatever boss it is. This game is predominantly about... You and teammates working together to build decks to be a boss. Um, the boss can be different. The boss does different things each game. So I'm going to assume this is what you're protecting and this is what you're fighting. What's it go up to? All the way. Okay. All numbers. All right. Lots of card slots. We got an A, B, C, D box. They are thin. More cards, I'm assuming. This one feels... That's not cards. What is that? I found sounds a lot more solid than cards. So does that. Are there miniatures in this? All three of me, hold on. A sounds kind of like it could be cards. These three sound like figures. 
This box seems there's something underneath here. We'll get to that in a second. All right, let's check out some of this stuff. Stop. I see front. This is the front of Stop 1C. I see deck. Do not open. Okay, fine. I will not open. One, okay, 1B. And I'm going to take a wild leap of yep, IA. Okay. L. And what do we got here? Stop 2. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of... Wait, what's this? Stop ID, front, current stop deck. Banish, okay. Where do you start? Stop two, front. This is kind of nice. In uh, my only frame of reference, I mean, I've played Risk Legacy, pet, both Pandemics, and um, Seafall. And uh, this is kind of a nice way. I'm assuming all the chapters are are uh, connected to these different decks. Hmm. These are all do not open. Seven front. Okay. Well, wait. What are we playing with? What's the beginning? That must be okay. You know what? It tells us it evolve. This is the front of the evolve deck. Ooh, I like it. I like when things get evolved. Uh, okay, first off, before I do what I was going to do next, let's open, let's do this. Oh, look at this. Chapter 8, The Void Inside. Oh, heavy, um, oh, what the heck? heavy smell coming from the inside of this box. Love it. What? Hey, Heroic. Yep. I just got it, man, today. Do not open until end of campaign. Ooh. Oh. It's so it's so loose. Oh, it's so loose. Do we open not? No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Alright. So uh, check this out, man. It's got these uh oops. I'm gonna move this over. It's a very very sturdy, solid box. It's got these cool envelope um kind of things. For each of the chapters, the ordeal and among the ruins, you open each one. I believe it tells you which of these decks to uh, open up and to deal with. But it really doesn't give you. And then there's uh, these four boxes. But I'll tell you what, man, these sound like there's a surprise in here because these are not. This is not cards. This is. These are like figures. What would that be? This game doesn't have dice. It has, um, I mean, the closest thing to like a solid thing other than cards is are these things. That doesn't that sound as big as that. Maybe, maybe. Could be more br gates. Like there's these. The gates are really nice and solid. Or uh, bigger chipboard than uh, than what we're used to. Maybe it's more of those. I don't know. These are the characters you get to start with. They're all pretty much um, generic. They have different types of each pitcher on the back, but they're uh, they're all pretty much they share all the same stats. There's nothing different between any of them, which is fine. It's totally cool. I got a bunch of this stuff totally looking forward to playing this so heroic man i am gonna start playing this i think next week oh i know right it's come out yeah it sure has it's real nice i'm glad a lot of people um uh, got turned on to this because it's a it's totally worthwhile the game itself i also got um i don't know i, I don't know I, I can't remember if i apply i don't think i like applied for it but I got um uh, the expansion for where is it oh I also as part of the Kickstarter I got the buried secrets expansion which I hadn't I didn't have I had the other one with the blight lord so that's cool I have the um the base set expanded
uh, in addition to this stuff. There's not much to see here other than this stuff, though. How did I have this? Oh, it's got to be spread out. I like the. I was saying, uh, heroic. I like the the way they do, they've done this. You've played the pandemic. Pandemic could take a cue from this stuff. How they kind of set up their their story. How it's in these. It's a real nice, solid envelope. You know what? Let's open first chapter because I'm gonna start playing this soon. Now we'll know what we're, what to expect. Dare you? Do you dare? Should I take it off camera? Just kind of allude to it? Okay, yeah, that's what I'll do. All right, so what we got in the first box, but what I don't understand, hold on. I want to understand something here. Okay, all right. So all I'm going to say is the first envelope is a monster, is a boss. And so I'm going to assume that most of these, ooh, some of them are a little bigger, are just, these envelopes are just different um, enemies, bosses, that we're going to have to deal with. Yeah, I just picked, I just got a Deep Space D6 as well. Um, so, first game setup sheet. First, open the deck that has a card marked with the stop 1A. Okay. So, 1A is going to be the first one we start with. Um, each player should pick one of the, okay, well, one of the characters, which side, choose a name. Each player gets a set of breaches labeled one to three. Yeah, yeah. Get 10 life. Open the deck that is marked with a stop 1B. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. Okay. We are going to, I'm, I am going to start playing this. And I will televise it. Starting next week, I believe. The week of Christmas. I um, luckily have most of it off. So I can start playing. Um... The oh yeah, uh, gold box D and D PC game box art, nice. Um, really, wow. Actually, you're right. I remember those. <laughs> totally, totally. And that is the Ian's End Legacy Co-op Deck Building Game. Did I get everything in here? All right. All right, man. I just popped in to uh, show this off. I'm going to, next up, you'll see me uh, playing Apocrypha, I believe, tomorrow. So the base Ian's end was already an ambitious game design challenge. Yeah? Why is that? Interesting. Do you, do you know... Um, was it who who designed? Is it Kevin Riley and Nick Little? Did they do both? Did they both do? Yeah, no, it's like Kevin right here actually. Oh, so Kevin Riley. Oh, oops. I like the name Kevin. It's a strong name. Strong, strong name. I got the base set right here. Boom. check out some of these buried secrets at least the boss no. wait did it get come with any bosses I don't think buried secrets actually came with new bosses it came with uh, new mechanics yeah it didn't come with new yeah but that's good because I've had trouble fighting and defeating the others I don't know. I think, I think I'm. I think I want to check out a couple of these cards. Then I'll go watch an episode of Patriot, which is an incredible show. I'm 
Voidium spec. This is purely for those of you who haven't Bottled Star gained three charges. Those of you who haven't played Aeon's End. Manifold container. Next time you gain a card this turn, you may also gain a card that costs less than the game card. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, the um, the expansions really do injustice. Any player gains one pulse token. Very cool. This gets my my puzzle brain going. You know what I mean? Okay, I gotta put that away because I, I'm not playing the base set. I'm starting Legacy. I'm starting it soon. It was tight. Um, right, 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 right. Yes. Agreed. Completely agreed. All right. Y'all have a good night. And... Viva the Dungeon!